Hi there, Coach Tanya with Critical Bench and today I'm going to talk about your fascia and stress. Okay, so you may have heard of fascia, you may know what it is, or you may be wondering, well, what is it, what does it do? Why do we even talk about it? Your fascia is basically, it's a connective tissue and it's kind of, um, almost think of like spider webs, that's in my visual opinion is what it most resembles is spider webs. And it, it's everywhere. It's like one continuous head to toe, all encompassing interwoven system of this fibrous connective tissue found all through your body. Um, so that alone should give you the an idea of just how important of it, it is. If we have that much of it and it's if it's connecting and encompassing everything and right down to our organs, it must be very, very important. And it actually really is. And it's this framework that helps, you know, helps support and protect individual muscle groups, the organs, and our entire body as a unit. So it's it's very important. It warrants our attention and we need to know how to take care of it um, for our best performance and our best health. So you know, we have this, this layer of fascia directly beneath our skin. It's like another protective, protective barrier, all right? So there you go. That's my very simple, simple way of explaining it. So what, what, what does that have to do with stress or why am I talking about it with stress? Well, when you think about stress, stress is your body's reaction or response to anything and whether that's positive or negative. So something happens in our environment, in our thoughts, and we have a, a reaction. Now we have a mental, emotional reaction, but we also have a physical reaction, whether we are aware of it or not. So typically with a stress response, your body tends to tighten and tense up. So if your body's tightening and tensing up, so is that fascia. So that is how, I mean, a very, very basic description or understanding is that you tighten up, well, so is the fascia, because it's everywhere connecting everything. So what can we do to help? Well, managing our stress is one way. Managing and learning how to navigate stress, cope with our stress to help bring our body down. So you can't avoid stress, it's going to happen, but if we allow it to continue to build without bringing our bodies down so we can kind of hit that reset button, we just get tighter and tenser and tighter and tenser. And if any of you may be um, in high stress jobs or there's something very stressful going on in your life, you may find that you're getting like like pain here in your jaw, you're getting headaches, you're very, you know, you're having trouble turning your neck. Uh, that's all, I mean, not always, but a lot of that can be attributed to stress. You're sitting at your desk and you, you're, you know, you're, you're trying to get your work done. You've got all this stuff going on that's stressing you out. And so you're tensing and tightening up without even knowing it or really being that aware of it until maybe driving home or later on that evening watching TV and you think, gosh, like, why am I so sore? It's because you're stressed. And we all have it. And we all have it. And that is affecting the fascia because it's tightening it, it's tightening it up, which is pulling on the muscles and all and everything else. It's you know if it's attaching and encompassing everything, if we tighten up and tense up and that happens to the fascia, it's just pulling on everything, pulling everything in. So managing your stress, finding ways to manage stress. Number two, stay hydrated. Um, just like everything in our body, we need water and most of us are not drinking enough. A lot of times, it's not exclusive, it's, it's part of a whole process of doing really good things for yourself, but a lot of times drastically increasing your water intake, and I'm saying drastically because so many of us are walking around dehydrated. Really focusing, becoming very aware of drinking more water is going to help keep that fascia from getting tight and that, that tension, all right? You also want to make time in your day to get up and move. And I'm not suggesting get up from your desk in the middle of something very important and take a half an hour break, but get up and move. You know, go walk up and down the hallway a few times. It's gonna do your head a lot of good as well, but keep moving because sitting for hours a day, every single day without movement doesn't help your fascia, doesn't do it any good, which, you know, again, when it's connected to everything, encompassing everything, it's, the, it's everywhere throughout your body, it's affecting everything else. So get up and move, keep things moving and mobile, okay? Make sure you're taking, like, this comes down to stress, so, you know, find a way to decompress, find a way to come down from that stress. And even if you can, in, you know, bring it into your day, middle of the day. Um, I'm very guilty of sitting at my desk and eating lunch there and continuing to work through my day. I really, 
I really need to make a more conscious effort to step away and even take 10 minutes, okay? So implement moments of decompression time. Even if it doesn't completely bring you down, just give your mind, give your body a break and allow things to relax because your body responds to what's happening up here in your head. Um, start carrying around a tennis ball. And I, <laughs> I'm being very serious. There are some very simple, very easy stretches you can do sitting at your desk, standing in your office, in the coffee room, in the break room, in the kitchen, in your living room, in your bedroom that you can do anywhere that's gonna help loosen and move, like help, not move the fascia, but you know, just that rolling motion is going to really help um, keep your fascia from being so tight. Um, as long as you have a floor, and or a chair and or a wall. There are several very simple stretches you can do using a tennis ball to roll out areas like in here in your chest, the bottoms of your feet, um, upper back area. And you can do some very simple but incredibly effective little stretches that'll take you maybe five, 10 minutes to do. You can do those a few times a day and that's also gonna help. There you go, your fascia and how stress affects that and a few things you can do to help alleviate some of those symptoms. Again, I'm Tanya, Coach Tanya here at The Critical Bench. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions for me, you can put, put them down below because um, I do read those, I will get back to you. If you haven't done so already, click over here to subscribe to our channel to check out thousands of other great videos like these ones right here that you're gonna love.